Bruh, I just got I just got chills as he was saying that. I, bruh, it was visceral, bruh. I'm being moved by the Wairua. Oh, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the channel, man. Sincerely appreciate you being here with me on today. Haka documentary, We Belong Here, Beats by Dre Rugby. down to earth pretty quickly here in, um, in, in the village here in Ohinamatu. Turanga Waiwai is your belonging place. So my belonging place, for example, is Ohinamatu. I feel the ancestors, I feel the spirits that have been here before. I was born here. Uh, when my time is uh, done here, I should also return here to my... Bruh, I just got I just got chills as he was saying that I, I I'm here I'm from here I belong here, bruh. This is how I feel about being removed from Barbados. I feel lost and out of place. I keep saying it. I've been saying it. I felt it my entire life. I'm bruh. I'm just in the wrong spot geographically, bruh. There's no way for me to fight that feeling. I gotta go home. I got to find the way that God has made for me to go back home. I hope I'm right that it is in his will for me to go back home. Because I've been focused on that for so long. My heart's been on that for so long. <sighs> I don't know why, why. The beginning of Haka starts at the beginning of time. Haka is simply a dance that we do prior to battle. Uh, back in traditional times, it was used to intimidate your opponent. How we see haka today is usually the aggressive dance that we perform. When we do haka, there's a message within the haka, whether it's a social message or a tribute to somebody. It's a vehicle for us to be able to express ourselves in the present. What was interesting about this particular haka, Taku Tu Runga Wai Wai Motu Haka, which we did for Richie, we went English first. So the first part of the haka actually talks about who we are and where we're from and that we belong here. We oh. don't own the land. We belong to it. And while we're here, we are the guardians of that land. Bruh, bruh, it's just so wild to me how connected the Maori people are intrinsically, naturally. In Genesis, they say that people come from the ground and that God breathed the breath of life into the the, the 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 forms that he made from the ground in his own image in their image bruh it's oh Ooh. oh my goodness the emotions that i'm feeling the I'm, I'm i don't know what this is i'm feeling i'm feeling connected i'm feeling inspired i'm feeling a whole bunch of different things man it's just like the maori people understand bruh they haven't been caught up in in the new wave and all this newfound stuff it's about keeping it simple love everything and everyone and you will have respect for your land you will have respect for your people you will want to naturally protect that thing which you love bruh wow man oh <laughs> i love watching this kind of stuff thank you for suggesting this identify yourself so i can identify you in the next video and the second part of the haka is about the challenges that may arise. So when you do that action, mean it. When you hit that, and you go up there. Well, like... Much better. Bruh, I feel like... I feel like I would do such a strong haka. I, f I feel like I feel like I would finally be in my place. And what I mean by saying that is it's abnormal for somebody to raise their voice. Am I right? 
If somebody were to raise their voice, you would automatically think what? Write in the comment section. Something is a problem. If a voice is being raised, something is an issue. But just now, what I experienced with that dude yelling just now with, bruh, it was visceral, bruh. I can, I can feel my core just, I can feel my core doing this in this moment as I'm speaking. And I felt it when he was showing them how to properly do it. He said, feel it, feel what you're saying, bruh. Ooh, I'm getting worked up on a documentary. This ain't supposed to be happening. Why is this happening? Is it so early in the morning? Is it my call? What is it? I don't know. I'm being moved by the Wairua. Problem culture and um, yes, something that's been around for centuries, <laughs> probably our whole lifetimes. And it's really important to us as Māori. Does it keep you going to eh? Yeah. You fellas have got that haka sorted. We got the kupu, we got the words, we got the actions. Kapai. Now we got to take it to the another level, boys. Okay. And that's coming from inside, from in here. Right. Uh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This, this puts into words why I feel the way I feel about the haka. Especially when I see certain people doing it, bruh, I can see, I can see history in their eyes and in their facial expressions and in the tensing when they're doing the movements. I can, I can feel it. Ooh. And there. So don't leave anything, anything in the tank, boys, from here. Not there, from here. Right? In the lines. Let's go. Right, let's go. I'm already a wreck. And it's only going to get better from here. There it is, boys. Oh man, I need to post this ASAP. Ooh, snap. Oh, that was everything for me. That was everything for me. Goodness gracious. Oh man, I I don't even there's nothing for me to say. I said everything that I had to say. I'm moved, I'm inspired, I'm touched. Everything that I feel from the haka all the time, I felt almost double today bruh the their output just now it did something to me all right cool little frozen bees man appreciate y'all being here with me in this video suggest me another one to react to and i pray i'll see y'all in there love